So this afternoon, I took Granny and Claire to a garden centre. We come back from there, I pop next door to go and see Grandad and see what he's been up to. And he's standing there, he's got a bandage all wrapped round his hand. I said, what on earth have you done? He said, I was in the garden with the circular saw cutting up some wood and I've caught my hand. I said, what do you mean you've caught your hand? He said, I've caught, I've caught my fingers with it. I said, well, how bad, how bad is it? He said, well, all the blood, I've managed to wipe all the blood up off the floor and stuff. And I was thinking, oh my God. I said, are you okay? He said, no, I think I need a professional to have a look at it because it's pretty bad. So I've now brought him to the hospital. He's gone into A&E and I'm waiting outside for him. I have, I've not seen it at all. Apart from he had this bandage wrapped around his hand and he said it hasn't stopped bleeding. God knows how bad it is. I suppose we'll wait for him to come out and then uh, we'll have a look. And fingers crossed, um, he's okay. Grandad, what are you like? Here he comes. Oh, hang on, sorry. <laughs> how are you? I'm all right. What's happened? Hey, cut my finger. I thought it was your hand that was all cut off. No, no, no. What, so, what is it? Just my finger. How bad? Like three slices there. Dad, what I don't get, right? Yeah. You're in the garden, you've got a Makita circular saw. I have. And you're using it on a toy town stand. True. Yeah. You've used the saw, haven't you? I have. And you've held underneath the wood you're cutting, and you put the saw straight through. Yeah, what happened, the piece of wood, it was uh, not falling apart, so it was sort of, it went wonky on me as I was got to the last bit. Yeah. And, uh well, stupidity on my part. How basically. does it feel? It's all right, throbbing. It's all, I can feel it, everything. And uh, yeah? she said it's going to grow over properly, give it time. So they just put a bit of dressing on to hold it all together and then put this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Well, at least you're all right, Grandad. Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> I literally thought, you said your hand was all carved, though. I thought you were in massive trouble. No, but... no, no, I'll just say everything's okay. They x-rayed it all, and uh, there's nothing, yeah? yeah. I've only got this sling on it to keep the hand up in the air a bit more. Well, on the bright side, everything seems to be okay, but you're literally using a massive Makita circular saw yeah, on a toy town yeah. workbench. Yeah, stupid. You've got half the tools. Half the tools, <laughs> yeah. Got the... Uh, half the tools there. and half a finger. Yeah, half a tool here. <laughs> Fit maybe a full tool. How do you feel right now? <laughs> An absolute tool. <laughs> you oh, well. are a wally. Unreliable when it comes to this kind of thing. Or you true. are reliable. We can always rely on you to have an accident. Yep, true. This time he hasn't banged his head. He's just no, no, my head's taking right, his right, finger right, off. Yeah. <laughs> How much yeah. bandaging, bandaging he put on? It looks like a massive sausage. Uh, I was just that. Uh, they put like a piece of... Uh, just across the cart, then a bit of wet padding, and then put this finger bandage over the top. <laughs> it all together. You want it some worse news as well? We're losing one nil in the football at yeah, half time. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I oh, suppose yeah. we better get you on for some Sunday dinner. Yep, so that's not the plan. For me, the client. Me, injured granddad. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Oh, well. Bye-bye now. Bye. See what happens when we leave you alone for a Bye. couple of hours on your own. Oh, terrible. Can't be trusted. Bye-bye now. Bye. <laughs>